What's up YouTube? It's me Kenneth the What's New Barbecue. Thanks for stopping by. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and give a special shout out to my mom and my wife. Happy Mother's Day to y'all and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I truly appreciate what my wife and my mom do for us. So, um, But we're rolling on some St. Louis style ribs today on Old Copper, the Weber Kettle, and they turned out awesome. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. Let's get to these ribs, y'all. These ribs are looking pretty nice. They got a nice marbling rolling through it, some good fat content. I do want to trim them up a little bit before we get to seasoning them up. We want to make sure we get a nice bite on every part that we cook. I'm going to take some of this extra fat right here off. That's just a bite of fat. We don't want that, so we're just going to clean that up a little bit. Just like that there. Right here is a little bit. Get you a nice sharp knife right here so you don't have to put much effort into it because this is some kind of tedious bits of fat you want to make sure you got a nice sharp knife so you can cut right through it that's really about all i'm going to do there what i do want to do though you can see let me flip this around you can see right here this is kind of just a flap so we want to get that off of here so we can cook evenly let's go ahead and turn this around find that bone and cut right off of it kind of square it off a bit just like that and there's this flap sometimes that's left on it we're going to take that off as well. This one's not too bad, but it does hinder even cooking. Man, cutting into it, you can really see the marbling rolling through this rack of ribs. This is going to be a good bite right there. That's going to be a good rack of ribs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm excited to try it out. So that's looking good. Don't really have to do too much more. Now it's time to season them up. And Brayson, my son, he's going to put the first layer of seasoning on. And he's going on with a base coat of jalapeno. It's incredible. This is a seasoning that Michael Petrie's working on at Heaven Made Products. Really nice. There you go, Bubba. It's got a nice flavor to it. Nice resemblance of It's Incredible with a nice bite at the end of it. Try and do it like this. Shake it up a little bit. Do it up high. Just like that. Back and forth a little bit. There you go. Like that. Yep. And right here. Yep. We'll just do that. Just and I'll just it. touch up a little bit where Bubba left off. We can pat. It. Yep, patting it works too, just like this. If your bottle's not working too great. You can pat it. With, good point. And it's good for kids, me. Yep. If they want to do it. Just like that. So we're gonna put a decent amount on here. This is for my mom for Mother's Day. We're actually celebrating Mother's Day with her today. She wanted a nice, spicy, but savory seasoning on the ribs. So following up that It's Incredible Jalapeno, we're going to hit it with some all-purpose from North Texas Barbecue Addicts, the Smoke Shake. We're going to put a heavy coating of that on there. This seasoning puts a nice bark on barbecue. Nice color. It's smelling good already. So we're going to go ahead and season this side up just like that, pat it in. We got the Weber kettle heating up to about 260. That's where we want to be around 260. I'm okay up to 300. We're going to let that sweat in. Then we're going to flip them over, season up the other side. Next time I see y'all, we'll be at the Weber. Check out that color on that dry rub, that combo with the It's Incredible Jalapeno and North Texas Barbecue Attic Smoke Shake. Let's get these ribs onto the kettle. We're right at about 260 like we want to be. Warm them up a little bit. Smelling awesome out here. We're using some apple wood, some chips for the smoke today. And this should be about a four hour cook, maybe four and a half hours. We're going to let that ride. We'll check on those in two hours. All right, y'all, we're at the two hour checkpoint and we've been hovering right around 300 degrees on the kettle this entire time. It's smelling insane out here. We're looking good on this side. 
I want to shout out my barbecue brother Gary Golden for this awesome big spatula. I'm literally going to use it just to flip these ribs. Look at that crack already happening. So we're getting good. Flip these ribs so we can help that pull back. Kind of create on each side. And we've been rolling for two hours now. So it's time to go ahead and put some apple juice on these bad boys. They're needing some hydration. Rolling, like I said, around 300 degrees this entire time with that apple wood. It's smelling great. So we're just going to hydrate them a little bit with this apple juice. Make sure we get all sides and everything. Man, that's looking good right there. You don't want to rub it on there just in case some of the seasoning hadn't set yet. Looks like we have here though, but just in case you want to keep that bark that you're building up. So we got that there. That's looking awesome. And we want to go ahead and top it off with a little bit more of the smoke shake, the all-purpose rub. Just so that apple juice doesn't make you lose any of those flavors you're working with. There we go. Just like that. And uh, that's looking great. Smells awesome. That apple wood's really rolling. And I forgot to mention, in the two hours, I have added about two handfuls of apple wood chips, which is about probably 10 chips each time, so about 20 chips. We're going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down, and I'll catch back up with you all in an hour. All right, we got about 30 minutes left on the cook, and I want to go ahead and top these ribs with a little bit more of the seasoning that we've been working with today. Those are looking great. Got an awesome color, nice candy look. Um, I went ahead and moved the Weber a little bit further out in the driveway so we could catch a little bit more of the breeze with it being towards the end of the fire that we have here, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna use some of that jalapeno, it's incredible. And then we're going to hit it with that smoke shake, the North Texas Barbecue Attic All-Purpose Rub. Those are the two flavors we've been working with the whole time here, so that's what we're going to finish it off with. Just like that, not too much, just enough to get those flavors rolling again. Like I said, we got 30 more minutes. We're rolling right around 230 degrees probably, give or take. We're going to let those roll for 30 minutes and we'll pull them off. All right, y'all, it's actually been about 40 minutes longer, and these ribs are done. It's time to pull them off, and we're going to get them onto our cutting board. And let them rest. We'll just put some foil on them. They're starting to break right there. That's what we want to see. Nice, beautiful bark on there. That sauce is set well. I'm going to go ahead and pull these bad boys, like I said, and cover them in some foil and let them rest. And next time I see y'all, we'll be giving them a taste. These ribs have been resting for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, give or take. And it's time to take the foil off of them. It smells awesome. It's got a great color on it. That bark set really well. Looking really juicy still. Let's go ahead and cut us a couple of these ribs and see how they're looking. They're extra tender. Man. These are going to be awesome, I can already tell. Alright y'all, the ribs rested for about 30 minutes. Y'all saw them on the cutting board. Got a nice little plate made up. We're at my mom's house. Look at these ribs. Awesome color on the bark, nice and juicy. My mom made some kind of roasted potatoes in the oven. Rosemary roasted potatoes, got some ranch. Cheers y'all. Mm. Those are awesome. Let's try this rib out. It's got a beautiful color on it. Nice and juicy. Let's take a bite. Mm. Those turned out awesome. That apple habanero has a nice sweet flavor, but some nice heat. And then you taste that it's incredible. 
and that jalapeno flavor from the It's Incredible. And uh, that smoke shake really complements everything as well. Let's take another bite. Mm. That's awesome. Mm. Well, that's all I got today, guys. I appreciate y'all for stopping by What's New Barbecue. Until next time, y'all keep on barbecuing.